Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around an ITI Cargo 5x8 stockade model. The unit shown here has got a V nose and a ramp door shown in silver frost exterior. The trailer's a 2990 GVW. It's going to weigh about 900 pounds empty, leaving a net legal payload of about 2100 pounds. Let's take a walk around the trailer. We'll show you some of the features on it. So everything shown here is all standard equipment. Starting out up front, it's got a two inch ball. Notice the uh, sand foot at the bottom, keep you from going down in uh, sand and dirt and whatnot. So as it is a single axle trailer, it does not have brakes. It has a four flat plug, should be standard on most equipment uh, vehicles nowadays. If you don't have a four flat, odds are you have a seven round and we can adapt that back with a very simple adapter. Safety chains, of course. One of the things here you'll notice, this is a gloss black. You'll notice that the steel's all been prepped. A lot of times in the uh, enclosed cargo trailer industry, that is not the case. Take a look at some of the others on the market, see if the steel's all been prepped or not. Notice this has the uh, anodized vertical, gives it a nice clean look. Also notice the stone guard on this, a little bit taller. Some of them now are gonna have a six inch, 12 or uh, whatnot inch stone guard bit taller on this one so if I stand back a little bit you'll see it's got a nice clean look this unit's got a little heavier bottom trim than most uh, it has a three inch gives it a nice look you also notice the bullet LEDs and then it's got side flow through vents so the vent there is at the uh, front top you also notice one uh, on the uh, passenger side bottom for the outtake fenders on these are a little bit nicer than some of our other ones as well. These are a polished fender. Uh, it's also got your gasket toward the uh, trailer side. It's got a fender mounted light. 15 inch tires. It is a radial tire, standard equipment. Full size 3,500 pound axle. Now with most all single axles, even though it is a 3,500 pound axle, trailers derated to 2,990. You'll find most single axles uh, do not have brakes except uh, I believe New York State. Eh, but only on bigger stuff over a thousand pound empty this one being 900 even new york state would be an idler axle so this has a ramp door on it you can also get it with a barn door uh, tend to get through a lot more of the ramps notice the thin strip leds give it a nice look now this unit's got a silver exterior but it does have a lot of black on it gives it a nice kind of a two-tone looking effect it's got your bullet led lights up top LED license plate light. Of course, it's got your drip edge up top as well. So you're through to the door measurement on a five foot wide. It's gonna be just a touch over four foot uh, from corner post to corner post, but then until you take into account the inch or so on the spring assist cables, you're gonna get down close to four foot. This has a three quarter engineered on the floor and it's got a, um, like a birch wall liner on the walls. Take a walk inside here. You'll notice inside, well, one thing, you'll hit your head if you stand up. This is going to be about 5'6 inside height. Then the ceiling on these, you'll notice, is going to be a one-piece aluminum roof, and then the bows on these are tube. A lot of times, manufacturers will save a couple bucks. Uh, they'll use a, a, a hat post on the ceiling. You'll notice this one's got your foam gasket, and then it's got your, uh, your uh, little one on the ceiling. Of course, the door is spring assist. It's also got a dome light right inside the door with a switch, and then your exterior outtake on your vent. So this unit is a V-nose. So I'll show you. Uh, gonna get roughly an extra, I'll say foot of space up in the V, roughly nine foot. And an inch my way out rather than hit my head on the exit as well. So again, five, six. Something like this is nice if you've got a uh, uh, an average size street bike will go inside. Your uh, sporter, sporty bikes that are six, six and a half or so foot long are ideal. Again, you're about eight foot of square box. That's what we're measuring. And then you're gonna get about a foot of Venos as well. It's got about nine down the center. Uh, ideal for most four wheelers and uh, most bikes that aren't full size cruisers you can get it in a, you got a full-size cruiser you ought to jump up to a 6x10 get a little bit extra width 
Uh, you get the side door on the six wides. Five wides generally do not have a side door. So again, trailer weighs about 900 empty. You can pull this behind most, uh, most average vehicles. You're gonna find most vehicles are gonna be about six foot wide. This trailer's about five. And then your fenders are gonna be about nine inches per side. So you're about six and a half foot overall. That would be no wider than an average car. Uh, the outside of the fender and the outside of the mirror are pretty well gonna match up. So shown here is the silver frost exterior. Also carry this. Uh, a lot of times in charcoal, white, and black. So they take in uh, junction box, all the wiring underneath the... Uh, on this side here. Also notice underneath, I wanted to show you if I can get far enough away from it. Trailer's all undercoated. Notice the uh, gussets. Be surprised, a lot of manufacturers uh, don't... Uh, that gusset, uh, the A-frame where it comes back, and uh, anything pretty much from down south isn't going to be undercoated either. Doesn't seem to withstand the Pennsylvania winters uh, quite as well. We do suck this in other sizes, 5x10s, 6x10s, and 12s, all in single axles. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers or the ITI line of cargoes, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4. 220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.